Well, tournaments are getting down to the nitty gritty. Teams played tonight for a spot in the district finals and the 11th region tournament. Henry Clay and Brian Station in the 42nd. Fourth quarter, Marquez Warwick, the pull up. He finished with 19 for the Blue Devils. We've got the deficit down to two with three minutes to play, but Eric Boone picks up the loose ball, scores. He had 20 as Brian Station advances with the 65 52 win over Henry Clay. In the second semifinal, Frederick Douglass taking on Scott County and the Broncos' Justin Mil Mitchell drives for two of his 13 in the game. Frederick Douglass down 14-10, but Scott County creates turnovers. Michael Moreno gets one, slams it for two of his 24. He also had 16 rebounds and five assists. Scott County wins at 79-53. To the 43rd, where Lafayette carried the best record in the city against Dunbar. The Bulldogs had the lead and extended it as Isaiah Allen finishes on the break. 29-24 Bulldogs. But Cameron King almost couldn't miss around the basket for the Generals. He had 13 as Lafayette moves on to face LCA in the finals after beating Dunbar 47-40. In the girls' 43rd, the host, LCA, taking on Lafayette. Caroline Bennett poured in 35 points as she hit nine three-pointers. She added eight rebounds, three assists, and three block shots. Lafayette is in the title game after beating LCA 68 to 32. Uh, the UK baseball team is off to a 4 and 1 start to the season. Nick Mingione's Wildcats started the season ranked number 8 and they have high hopes to reach the College World Series. And as Charlie Walter reports, they're quickly gaining a following. The team has their eyes set on Omaha and the fans have clearly taken notice. There was a party going out there in the outfield. Like I'm trying to yell it to get our outfielders' attention, and you know I'm sitting there going, "Well, they can't hear. I think they're playing Garth Brooks out there or something." 4,118 showed up to the final home opener at Cliff Hagen Stadium. That's the largest regular season crowd in the ballpark's 50-year history. It was a really neat deal, and when I think of a college atmosphere and a home field advantage, boy, did the Blue Blue Nation provide that. The top 10 ranking definitely contributes to the crowd, but as students told me. These games are just fun to attend. We think it's better than the football games. It's like taking over the football games. I don't know. It's like basketball and then baseball now. Hey, big baseball school. Big baseball school. Whether it's a baseball school, a basketball school, I know this. We are UK. What do you guys think of Coach Mangione and what he's done in a short amount of time? We praise him. We praise him. He knows what he's doing. He's a genius. For LEX 18 Sports, I'm Charlie Walter. Thank you, Charlie. And for the second year in a row, the Special Olympics held its unified basketball games at the home of the Wildcats. Rupp Arena, how special is that? Three games taking place with teams from Madison, Scott, and Fayette counties, as well as the teams from Northern Kentucky. Several former Wildcats came in to play with these players for the unified game. LEX 18 News, we'll be right back.